Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video of myself and Georgina. Hello. And Georgina is sporting the very wonderful, very snazzy looking Bach 191B commercial trumpet. Resplendent, if I can use such a Beautiful. word. Beautiful, um, absolutely. With its bronze bell. So this is a lightweight commercial body trumpet. So mm -hmm. just I'm gonna hit you with a couple of bits of spec and then Georgina, we're gonna let her off the leash. She's actually <laughs> raring to get onto this. Um, so it's got the lightweight bronze bell, like I say. That is a number one style bell. That's right, comes out the big end. And it's the original Vincent Bark design. So when the guys at Bark were looking back through the spec, uh, of some of the drawings. They found this number one bell, which was his very first bell that he drew out. Wow, and how long ago was that? Many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, oh, now 1890, That's something amazing. like that. amazing, it was such a great design that they've kept it. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. it's something that's still relevant yeah, now. Yeah. So when you use bronzer, it gives you a real immediacy, and hopefully Georgina will kind of demonstrate and uh, give her feelings on that. But also there's a, a warmth because there's more copper in it as well, yeah. so there's kind of a smokiness. So it's a softer material, and so what Bark have done is quite neat. They've put various bits of bronze on here, including the bell and in the two-piece valve block as oh, well. Right. But they've got nickel, silver, uh, lightweight slides, inners, and there's a, a bell rim, nickel, silver as well. Just okay. so commonly, if you have that softness of bronze, you sometimes need nickel to give the projection back oh, right, to okay. it, because yeah. the, the nickel is what projects. Anyway, mm. enough of me boring everyone. Um, let's have a little blow and then there's a couple of other bits of spec I'm just yeah. going to hit. Okay, okay? you're going to try. Cool. Yeah. So oh, what do you feel from, from the front end? Well, it, it feels like it'll do what the kind of, you know what you want it to do. You've obviously got to get used to a different trumpet, and that's why yeah. it's great trying them, you know, it's so interesting to try them. It's got such a lovely warm sound. It's not it's not just got the edge. Like sometimes you just get the sizzle and the things, yeah. but I think it's got like a, a warm, rich sound, and it just feels like you can make a warm sound and then you can let it go. It's like having a car with many gears. You know, yeah. it really feels like you can give it some and it'll and it'll it'll go off. I'm not sure how it how it doesn't in the high ridge. So how the slots are. I'll just try a, a, like a little octave thing that I would yeah. warm with. That feels really the, the slots up there feel really big and not um, not wavy. They just feel like they're solid. They, they you know where they feel, are. Yeah, they do feel very solid. Okay. Yeah, cool. it's going to take a lot of air. Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. I think it's a nice comment. Like Georgie's kind of pointed out there, it's more than just a one trick bright light trumpet. It's yeah. got that copper in it gives it something else yeah, texture could, wise, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be afraid of playing. A, a tune like a little solo. I mean, yeah. whereas some trumpets you think you don't really want to stand up and play something in, in the lower register because it's going to have a nasty sound. But this yeah. one, I think you can, it could it could make a pretty sound as yeah. well. Yeah, it's not brittle, is it? No, yeah. no, no, it doesn't feel so, at all. Sometimes the yellow brass ones can have that slight brittle Absolutely. edge to them. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Okay. So just normal spec. It's a normal medium large bore, 0.459, five inch bell. And that's pretty much it. But it is definitely of a lightweight feel. It's not light, light, super light, no, is it? No, it still no, feels no, no. like solid. It feels solid. like you've got something solid in your hand. It's yeah. like driving an expensive car. You know, you, yeah. feel, <laughs> you can feel there's something solid there. It yeah, feels yeah. like it's solidly made. And it's got these very comfortable um, finger rings. Yes. Is that the name for yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the right places. This is a very fancy one. This is very smooth. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't feel like it's going to cut you or anything like that. That's very smooth. And it's got these... I can't remember the name for those. Oh, the Amado water keys. Amado water keys, yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to get used to those. Yeah. So they've done, that's it, they've done a few bits like that where essentially they're trying to lose weight. 
Okay. So they've, they've, that used that, <laughs> they've used those instead of the standard water keys, yeah. uh, the fixed rings as well instead of the adjustable one, because oh, okay. it's all just tiny little games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's all important. That makes a big difference to the whole thing balancing up. Yeah, it does. It does feel very balanced. I mean, it's you know, it's it, it's weighted, but it's not it's not heavy. I mean, I could no. hold it up for the entire gig. Sometimes I get trumpets. I think, well, there's no way I'm going to hold that up for two hours. Yeah, yeah. But this feels like a nice comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So just in terms of the actual playing, because I mean. It sounds like it can do a bit of everything. Would you be happy, big bands or, you know, solo, so a bit of everything? Yeah. Or pop, maybe, sessions? Yeah, absolutely. I think, like, soul bands or pop bands or anything that's going to cut through, you've got the capacity there to cut through. Also, you can you can hear it back when you play, which is very important. You know, you've okay. got to... seem to be much um much more effort you've got to do to do the different sounds but there yeah. does seem to be a range of sounds in there so yeah i'd um i'd recommend it for, yeah. for all that kind of commercial playing yeah bizarre, you know? <laughs> it's as if they know what they're doing isn't <laughs> I it i know it's strange but it's back <laughs> knows yeah. a thing or two doesn't it exactly. yeah you know? so yeah pop cool. stuff soul stuff big band stuff solo stuff yeah yeah lovely nice. really nice no we've been really impressed with it and i think yeah. it's been great to hear your uh, comments on it and like it's definitely not like we say a one trick pony it no. can do a bit of everything yeah so. yeah cool alright we well, can you give us a few more notes just to play us out I will okay here Thank we go let's have a look <laughs> 